Welcome to Beauty at Any Age 7. My name is Priscilla and for today's tutorial we are going to do a St. Patrick's Day look. I know many of you are planning some great festivities for that day so I thought I would get ahead of it and create this look just for you. So if you want to continue watching, <laughs> then continue watching. What? What do you want from me? Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll edit this. Y'all need to know this is just me. Okay, so let's get started. I've already moisturized my face and I've done my eyebrows offline because they do take some time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move into the makeup look. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to prime our eyes and I am gonna go in with Tarte Tape Shape in the color light. And just put a little here, not too much. And then I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Deluxe Concealer Brush and just get this rubbed in real good. And then as you know from previous videos, once I set it, I just go in with my ring finger and get it set there. Now we're gonna take the same thing and the other eye and rub this in as well. Okay, so now that we have the concealer on our eyes, we're gonna go in and set it with the powder. And we're setting it with the powder so that the shadow application is a little smoother. And as you know, I enjoy the Maybelline Fit Me powder. So we're gonna take a little bit of that and a powder brush. I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush, but I use it also for my powder. And I just take a little here, pat it into the eye real good, and then do the same on the other side. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna actually be using two different palettes in another color from MAC, but the main palette that I'm gonna go in with is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is actually a beautiful palette you have not seen it. Oh, there goes the screen part. And these are the colors, gorgeous colors. So we're gonna use this as our base, really the transition shade. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm just gonna start the transition shade here. And again, because we're gonna do more of a smokier eye look, you want to set a really nice transition color because you're going to start using darker colors. So go in a little more of the same color. And you can just do circular motions, windshield wiper motions. Just want to make sure that it is nicely blended. Take the same color and do the same on the other eye. So now you have your transition shade. I'm gonna take one more color and just go in and darken it just a little bit. So I think I'll go in with this color right here. Again, just take it into the corner and continue to blend this in nicely. And you're going to take the same color and do the same with the other eye. Now that's all blended in. We'll go back to this palette in just a second. I'm going to go in now with a darker green color 
The transition brush that I used, and I didn't mention that, was the 224 from MAC. Just a really good blending brush. And now I'm going to go in with another MAC brush, a 286. See, it's nice and fluffy, but it's got a little bit of density, so we want that for the darker color that we're going to go in with. Okay, so now that we have the transition shade in, we're going to now go in with the Dare to Create Morphe 39A palette. You'll remember this from a prior tutorial. Beautiful colors, lots of them. And I'm going to go in with this darker green color here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and we're just going to go right in here. Just want to keep it right in this area here. And when you're using darker colors, you just want to take your time, make sure you are blending really nicely. In this part you don't want to rush. Now, when I do the other eye, I will fast forward just so that this video isn't an hour long. But you do want to take your time and ensure you have a nice blended look. Just stay right in the crease area. You don't want to go up too high. You want to get most of the color right in here. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and do the same on the other eye. Okay, so now we have that shade in. I'm now gonna go in with a MAC eyeshadow. And with that MAC eyeshadow, it is called Plumage. Right here is the color. It's, it's a dark bluish greenish color, but it actually will work really well for this look. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe 433 brush. And it's got a really dense tip to it. And so I'm going to take this color, and as you can see, I'm already reaching pot. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. And just enough to go right into this area here. Just on the outer corner of the eye. You just kind of want to stay right in here. And now we're going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so now that we have the darker shade in, I see that I'm losing my transition shade and I really want to have that popping. So I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to go back in with this darker color here. It is this one right here. And I'm just going to lightly go over here and then do the same here. And now I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of that color off and then go in and blend everything together. Okay, so now that the transition shade is blended back in, it looks like all the colors are blending in very nicely, we're gonna now do the lid color. I'm gonna use the MAC 213 brush and as you can see, it is a very dense brush, but it's a very good brush for the lid. We're going to go back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm actually going to take this color right here. It's a bluish color, but once you set the green over it, because we're going to do like a green glitter, it'll work out really, really well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that color and just apply it right here on the lid. Okay. 
go in with a little bit more. This color is so pretty. And just make sure you get it right in the wood area. And I'm going to go in and just add a little more. Normally I would use like a MAC Fix Plus spray to this brush just so that the color pops a little more. But since we're going to go over it with a glitter, I won't do that this time. Now I'm going to go back in with the same color and do the same on the other eye. Okay, so that color is set. I think I'm just gonna go back in with the MAC color again, taking the same Morphe 433 brush, just taking a little bit of this color again and just going back in and getting more definition into this look. Just stay right here on the outside corner. And I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to go in with the crease as well, just to ensure that the lid shade and the crease shade are blended nicely. So now that we have the lid color in place, we're gonna go in with the glitter, the funnest part of the look. And I'm taking the JolieBomb.com palette. This was a gorgeous glittery palette, as you can see with all the colors. And because it's St. Patrick's Day, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Super, super beautiful. And I'm gonna use the MAC 312 brush. It's just a perfect little brush for getting into those little areas where you don't want to go up too high because glittery is a real tricky shadow to work with. You don't want to go too high. You don't want to get it too in the crease. You don't want to be blinking throughout the day and your glitters all up in the brow area as well. So this is why a little brush like this is perfect for that. Now this already is very pasty. So it should be easier to work with than if you were just working with a regular loose glitter. And I work with those too, but if I'm using a loose glitter, then I usually take a glitter glue and apply it to the lid area first and then apply the glitter. But in this case, it's, all very, it's already set as a glue, so we're gonna go in and add some glitter. Now, you just want to keep working this. Be really careful. Don't go too high. As you can see, I get it right into the corner of the eye. Now, this makeup look may take a little bit more time than a usual makeup look, only because you're working with a glitter. You wanna be very careful when you're working with glitters because they can get away from you really, really fast. Now I'm gonna go back in and take a little more of the glitter and just add it right in here. And like I said, you just want to continue working with it until you have the right application on your eye. Super gorgeous. Now I'm going to go in and do the same on the other side. Super, super gorgeous. All right, so now we have our eyeshadow set. I had talked about this earlier. Now I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes so that we can wipe the excess of the eyeshadow that has fallen 
as a result of the eyeshadow application. So you just want to take one of these and just wipe really good under your eye. As you can see, there is a lot of fallout with this shadow, especially that last matte color that we use. That one has quite a bit of fallout. So I'm going to go in, wipe all of it out. And then remember, if you just wipe very carefully here, you can get an automatic nice cut right here. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So now that our shadow is done, we're going to go in and curl the lashes and get some mascara applied so we can do our false lashes. And I actually have a tutorial coming very soon on how to apply false eyelashes. Now that our lashes are curled, we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. Love this stuff, if you know that by now. We're just gonna add mascara. This really is just gonna help with the lash application. Now we're gonna do the same here. Now we are ready for lashes, everybody's favorite part. Well, maybe not everybody, but this is definitely my favorite part. I'm gonna go in with Blush Lashes in Sparkle. As you can see, they are super, super pretty. And since we're doing more of a dramatic look, after all, it is St. Patrick's Day celebration, then I thought I'd go with these lashes versus a more natural lash. So I'm gonna take the lashes and because I've done a recent tutorial on this that you will see within the next few days, I'm gonna put my lashes on and then I will be right back. Okay, so now that we have our lashes, we are ready to prime our face for foundation. I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs, and this is actually a, it's a setting spray, but I love it for a primer, so that's kind of why I use it. Plus it smells like coconut, and who doesn't like coconut? All right, so just gonna spray a little here and just get it all over the face. Now that we have our face primed, we are ready for foundation. But before I do foundation, I'm actually gonna go in with the Iconic Illuminator Drops. And the reason I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna place it in areas where the light naturally hits just to give it that extra pop of highlight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a few drops and it is very, very pigmented, if you will. So I'm just gonna apply some right here. And then I'll apply a little, and a little goes a long way just right here in the forehead area. And then right here where we add our highlight, just gonna add it right in there and a little on this side. And remember, a little goes a long way. If you can't, the Iconic Drops I got actually online, it's a UK company, but Cover FX also has these types of drops that you can purchase at like a Sephora, so I would do that. And then just go right into the nose area, which is where you would normally highlight, and then the cupid's bow. So now that you have that in, you are ready to go in with our foundation. So it seems probably like a little excessive, but once you get your foundation applied, it'll all blend in. So for foundation today, we're gonna go in with the Born This Way foundation, and I'm in the color Warm Beige. And now I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and blend the foundation.
And as you can see, just adding that illuminator drops gives it a very glowy look. So I love a glowy look. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is contour. And I have a full video on contouring that you can watch. So I'm actually gonna do my contour, but I'm gonna fast forward through this part. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a bronzer just to set this cream contour. And I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It actually is made mostly of chocolate and it smells super good. And I'm gonna take an E3 Morphe brush to apply the powder. And because we're gonna go for a more glam look, I'm actually gonna use a highlighter by Fenty Beauty. It's called Trophy Wife. I'm sure you might have seen this on a lot of social media. It was very popular when it came out. But this is what it looks like. It is super uber gorgeous. And again, it's really pigmented, so you don't wanna do too much of it, but I'm just gonna take a little fan brush and just slightly dab in here, not too heavy. And I'm gonna apply it right in here. And as you can see, a little goes a very, very long way. I'll do the same on this side. Now that is a highlight. It's super, super gorgeous but you just wanna be very careful with the application because it's very pigmented. Now we're gonna go in with the blush and you've seen my tutorials. I love the Wet n Wild blush and it is in the color Apricot in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful apricot color. So take a little bit of blush here and just apply it right here, blending both the contour and the highlight. Do the same here. Now we're gonna do the under eye area, and I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline, and just add a little here. And you saw in my other video, I also used this little guy called a Super Blender from Ulta. You just wanna blend very good under the eye. And now you wanna set that before any of the fine lines set in. You wanna take that same Maybelline powder, Fit Me powder, and take just a little brush like this and tap in a little here and apply it right under here to set that. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Now that we have the powder set, I'm gonna go in with the same palette where we added our transition color, and that will be the color that we will use for the under eye. So I'll take that same Jaclyn Hill palette, and I will go in with the Morphe 507 brush here. You can see it's a very small little tapered brush, very good for under the eye. I'm going back in with the original, trans not the original translation, but the second color that we used. Tap a little bit, get the excess off, and go right under the eye. Now 
Now you could go in with a darker color like we used here in the outer eye area, but because I try not to have too much heaviness in my eyes when it comes to doing a more smoky look, so that's why I go in with a lighter color under the eye. Okay, so we have that placed. Now I'm gonna go in and highlight the inner corner and the brow bone. And since we use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Y for our highlight, I'm gonna also use that highlight just so that it all blends together nicely. And just take a little Morphe brush, the G19 brush here, little highlighter brush. You can see how tiny it is just to get in this little inner corner here. And just take a little bit of the Trophy Y and add that right in here. We're gonna also take the same brush and take a little bit of the Trophy Wife and add it right here into the brown bone, brow bone area. I don't know why I struggle with that so much. I watched my other tutorial and I was struggling with brow bone before as well. There, we have the highlight in place. Now I'm going to take some mascara now that the lashes have set and I am just going to blend the lash with the natural lash and do a little under the eye as well. We are almost done with this look. I am gonna do one more step, and that is the contouring of the nose. If you watched my contour video, I showed how to do that, so I'm gonna do that very quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, before we complete our lip look, I'm gonna go in with the same powder we've been using and the Morphe Contour Sponge, and I'm just gonna go in and create a little bit of a definition right here. Just creates a nice cut look. Then we're going to go in with the powder brush. I talked about this on one of my last tutorials. This was from a Saks Fifth Avenue brush set. There was a seven brushes for like $39. It's actually a very good deal, but it's a really good fluffy powder brush. But any powder brush will do. And now for our lips, we are gonna go in with the, no surprise for those of you that watch my videos, the I Love Sarai Color Pop. It's just a really pretty nude color. This is for the liner. I use this so much, it really does need to be sharpened. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna go in with the Ultra Satin Lip, another I Love Sarai Color Pop. It's a more of a matte color, but it's super beautiful. And you can use a darker color, but because we already have very dark eyes, I figured we'd go with a more nude color. And now we're just gonna set the entire look with the Fix Plus from MAC. And remember, try not to make too many expressions because it will set in right where the expression is. And that's it, this is the final look 
I hope you have a fabulous time, whatever you do for St. Patrick's Day. I enjoy creating this look for you. I hope you like it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and to share the video and let your friends know about beauty at any age seven. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.